does it indicate? Think about this question during the lesson. Matilda and her friend are going bowling. She can rent shoes at the bowling alley or use her mother's old bowling shoes. How can she determine how much money she'll save if she brings her mother's old bowling shoes? Let's start by looking for a relationship. What pattern can you see in the cost of different numbers of games? The prices increase, but the price increases are not proportional based on the price of a single game. The first step is to write the number of games and cost as ordered pairs. 1, 4, 3, 8, 5, 12, and 10, 22. Then graph the ordered pairs and find the slope to determine the cost of each game. Does the graph show a proportional relationship? The graph doesn't show a proportional relationship. It doesn't go through the origin, zero, zero. Now we can use the graph to find the slope of the line. What is the slope? Select your answer. The slope is 2. It represents the cost of each game. Extend the line to show where the line crosses the y-axis. The y-coordinate of the point where the line crosses the y-axis is the y-intercept. The line crosses the y-axis at the point 0, 2. The y-intercept is 2. That means the cost of the shoe rental is $2. Matilda saves $2 if she brings her mother's old bowling shoes. Prices for a different bowling alley are shown in the graph. How much does this bowling alley charge for shoe rental? The line crosses the y-axis, and here's our y-axis at blank blank. So they're asking the coordinates. So I can assume, because they're going by increments of four, that this halfway line will be about two. So that means this point will be about three as the Y. So then my Y here would be my Y would be three and my X would be, I'm sorry, my um well no yes i was correct and my y i mean my x would be uh zero so the line crosses at zero and three so my y intercept would be three because that's the point in which it uh the line goes to or through this y axis a robotic assembly line manufactures a set number of parts per minute. Use a graph to verify how many parts the assembly line manufactures when it is first turned on. Step 1. Predict the number of parts. The machine has not made any parts when it's first turned on, so the answer should be 0. Step two, determine the number of parts manufactured at different intervals. So after three minutes, 36 parts have been made. After five minutes, 60 and so forth. Step three is plotting those points on the graph. So they plotted uh, those points on the graph. And then they drew a line to connect those points. The y-intercept is zero because the line passes through at the origin. So that's zero. And then that agrees with the prediction that no parts are manufactured when the robotic assembly line is first turned on. What is the y-intercept for each of the linear relationships shown? Determine if the relationship is proportional. 
Okay, so we need to find the y-intercept for each one of these graphs. So let's play around. So this first graph, again, the y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis. So right here, this would be 2. And then here, it crosses here. That would be, what, negative 1. And here, it crosses through the origin. So that would be 0. Let's see if we're right. Yes, we are correct. So the first one is 0 and 2, so 2 was correct. Next one was negative 1, and last was 0. We were correct. Um, it asks if the relationships are proportional. Um, because it's not crossing through the origin, these two are not proportional, but the last one... Uh, oh, wait. So there's an error with this one. It should say that it is proportional, not is not proportional. So this should be is proportional because it goes through the origin. What is the y-intercept of each graph? Determine if the relationship is proportional. Okay, so we look at the first graph. The y-intercept um, would be 2. I'll just write that down here. So this is 2 and not proportional. And then for uh, the second one, it does cross through the origin. And so that means our y-intercept is 0. And it is proportional. And the last one, the y-intercept would be, I guess that would be like 0, negative 0. Point. Two, five, and that would be not proportional because it's not going through the origin. Yeah, that's it. So I looked at this one again, and that's not the y. This is the y, that's what I get for rushing. So it's negative 0 0.5. Let's just correct that. So we're all on the same page. And it's still not proportional anyway.